What are you doing? Domestic bot. He's three foot high. He only says ten phrases. He's the friend you've always dreamed of. Order Domestic bot today. So, welcome back and all that stuff. You're on K Chat with me, Amy Schreckenhausen, on Vice City Station for the stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Next up is a living legend, a man who won the World Series single handed, known to his fans as Death in Tight Pants, and known to his enemies as, oh my god, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? It's sports legend BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. But one thing, sweetheart, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I played football. Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. In one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, then violating your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking an innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh, no. Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. Existed. I tell you, Father's Day, I'm scared to go to my mailbox. My big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the public eye, you can't always tell what people are about. BJ has met some real manipulative people. Seven wives! That's fantastic! No, I have one wife. I had six before that. So you downsized, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on... When you fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I spit for football. Able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you going to uh, bust a aerobic move? Hell no. But when you know how to grab another man by the face... Oh, and I should know. I ain't been there. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? But put a man in a helmet and a cup, and he can wash the car in dignity. That's fighting fit for football. A really very simple program. The best way to get your... Now and then you wake up and come out of the concussion and say, Damn, I look good. 
<laughs> BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on KChat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, Grandpa. I made tinkles again. If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping, and organ donation. Can you tell me the way back to Star Island? Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. I got those clothes you wanted.